You're now tuned in to 11 Track Podcast with Desco Martin. We got Dom Die. What up, what up? We got Kenny V in the building. What's happening there? He brought a special guest with him. Which, go ahead. They call me Double, man. Double? Yeah, 30 game. Woo. What's good with it? So what's going on with you guys? How you guys feeling today? Shit, cool, man. Chilling, chilling. Chilling, man. What's, what's this 30 game? Shit, man. That's some shit we didn't... Uh, we done branched off of all of our old shit, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing this for over about 10 years. Yeah, about 10 years? Yeah, yeah, for a while, like since like 2008, 2009. Ooh. Yeah, easy. Yeah, we've been making shit work. So we went through a few names. You know, niggas got to find themselves yeah. and all that. But uh, yeah, man, we came out with 30, man. 30XXX. It really started off triple X, boys. <laughs> yeah. But it's, uh, you feel me? We just, you know what I'm saying? Roman Ooh, numerals. Else. Yeah, yeah. XXX, anything goes. Really, anything goes, boys. Uncut, you know man. what I'm saying? So now, uh, no you, rules. Go ahead, go ahead. No rules. Man. Yeah, no rules. Facts. <laughs> so you guys are like, right now, you guys are popping with the music, but I know you guys got the clothing going on. So, like, what came first, the music or the clothing? Uh, the music really came first. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying, like I said, since 2008, we've been in the basement doing shit yeah. like that. But I just randomly had this idea one day. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm tired of seeing. You know what I'm saying? All the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People just passing me up and shit like that. So I had to get on my grind. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, came up with the Xanax hoodie. You know what yeah, I mean? Xanax hoodie. That yeah. was popping in the city. Yeah, yeah, it was. That was popping. It was. That shit real. took off, nigga. That shit was going crazy. Real. You know what I mean? So You was dropping pictures with like artists actually wearing that, huh? Oh, yeah. Like, shit. Dave's Loaf. You Dave's, had Dave's Loaf on that, boy. That's the homie. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Dave's Loaf, the homie. And, uh, ASAP Yams. Yeah, Yams, Yams, Yams is really. Rest in peace, ASAP man. Yams had Rest that in peace. That's yeah, crazy. Man. Yeah, that's shit. That's, man, that was the homie. Like, he really looked out. He really yeah, looked out. He told the whole ASAP. Everybody was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yo, they start messing with us heavy. People don't know, but it's a lot of shit coming out of Lansing, man. Oh, man, yeah, facts. Man, it's coming. Facts. It's, really? Oh, it's talent there. It's coming. It's talent. It's bad lot. thing about the the bad thing about this new generation, though, yeah. it's really about popularity. It ain't about talent no more. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Most definitely. It's about you know saying it's about uh popularity. Like everybody got uh the social media agents mm -hmm. now and shit yeah. like that. So they like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like, we going to put y'all up on the Explore page yeah, on Instagram. Yeah. We going to make yeah. people see y'all and make them click on y'all. You know what I yeah, mean? that's crazy. Yeah. So. Everybody trying to uh, get a like in this world. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, counting them likes and the views instead yeah. of, like, yeah. what's really popping. So when did you, mean? you first start with the music? Um, Like, what age? I think I was, like, 14. 14? Yeah. I was, like, 14. Me and Peso. Oh, you and Peso. Shout, shout out Peso. Yeah, shout out my nigga Peso, dog. We... He, he really made me rap. He was like, bro, hop on this. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? We was just skipping school, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Smoking weed and shit. Doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Doing a little bad kid shit. And he just like, yo, hop on this joint right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit. Okay. It was a Jolly Ju uh, Johnny Giuliano yeah. beat. Johnny, Ju <laughs> Johnny Giuliano. <laughs> the yeah. Them old sound click yeah. joint. Yeah, them old sound click joint. So yeah. after that, I mean, I ain't really start taking it serious until, I'm saying, one day they was like, yo, we trying to pay you to do a show. I'm like, what? Shit. Let's get it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Let's and then, and then what happened? What happened from there? Like, cause I know you had, you guys were like a big ass group for a minute. Yeah. Like, I I'm, swear y'all had thirty people on stage one time, man. Facts, yeah, facts. We had, for real. I mean, we had ill nature going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ill nature, yeah. Ill nature, no, my wet mob. Yeah, my wet mob. Yeah, 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 a lot of niggas knew the wet mob. Yeah, uh, we had like shit. My nigga Zach, he did the hundreds of hoes track. Yeah, what, what? How'd you guys create that? How, like, how'd that come along? What hundreds of hoes? No, I'm talking about like the Moet mob, ill nature, bro. Moet mob, like, bro. It was just y'all was always chilling type yeah. shit. Yeah, like I was just talking about, bro. In the car, uh, car he brought up like kid art and Vinny Chase. Yeah. And shit, I was really influenced by them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the elegant luxury yeah. music. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. But it's still type savage. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was still what we was on, but we was trying to make it so it was like more luxury yeah. sound. And so we was adding the champagne uh, yeah. glass clicks in the in the beginning of the song. And we would had a little movies, the Scarlett Johansson, Moet yeah. Mob type shit before the movies and shit. So we was just trying to make shit elegant. Y'all had a tag too, I thought. It was like Moet yeah. Mob. Yeah. yeah. That shit good. used to be hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to my ex, man. She far gone. <laughs> <laughs> she far gone past. She made that drop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She made that drop. Moet Mob, Moet Mob. <laughs> yeah, that was her. And then uh who who all else came from that camp like that that really popped off or that's doing music still? You said Zach? Yeah, my nigga Zacharias. Yeah. Uh, shout out Zach. Yeah, shout out Zach. He the one who made Hunters a host. Yeah, yeah that's so like crazy. everybody like 
that's where everybody in Lansing really started like, oh, ill nature. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. ill nature really. You know, who is these they got potential. Who is these niggas? Yeah. Who know is these niggas? You know what I mean? We ain't had no videos out or nothing like that. So after that, he shows. made the lane for me. He, bro, I was actually on the tip where I was like, man, I don't even want to do this no more. You feel yeah. me? Like, niggas getting old. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. want to do this. He gave me confidence. Like, bro, keep going. Like, you cold. You going to be cold. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. He came out. Uh, I'm saying, shout out my nigga Kobe. You know what I'm saying? That's who I run fish scale with. Mm. You know what I mean? He one of the original ill nature members. You know what I'm saying? He one of them too. So he had a big influence on me and what I do. And then driving into uh, fish scale, like when did you start that? How'd that come along? Did that come? Did you already know you were going to do that when you were dropping the Xanax hoodies? Not when I was dropping it. No. I I knew a little bit after. I knew once once I did the Xanax hoodies and it Everybody start wearing them yeah. Like you know what I'm saying Like shout out Kalani Shout out everybody That was really like, Hey people were still in that style too hey, though Bro that's why I, said, that's why I stopped yeah. Cause everybody was like Websites was no selling it That uh, wasn't yours That wasn't the original <laughs> There was no yeah, way to copyright boys. it Cause yeah. it's Xanax yeah. You know what I'm saying So they was all like Man Everybody was like I seen like eight or nine brands That was like We got Xanax tees now Xanax I'm like what Yeah so I started dropping different colors Yeah They started dropping different colors you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, ended that shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ended that. And uh, I just got this idea. I'm like, man, what's raw? Like, you know what I'm saying? What's like what's like me? Like raw, uncut. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fish skill. I just came up with fish skill one day. Like, man, and that's a hard name. And I could see so many designs popping up in my yeah. head. You know what I'm saying? So when I moved to Atlanta a couple years ago, that's when I really started. I really start messing with fish skin. That's dope. Yeah, I really start doing that. So you still, um, you still dropping Xanax hoodies? Probably not, huh? Man, hell no. Nah. Man, I was trying to. You had a pink one going around for a minute, didn't you? <clears throat> yeah, that bitch was yeah, going too. That boy yeah. on Valentine's hey, Day. that bitch was going. Yeah. Shit, I know hey. you got some at the crib. <laughs> 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 nah. And then, um, so like for fish scale, what are you dropping? Just like hoodies, like what's going on? T-shirts. Right now, I'm I'm just working on being consistent. Yeah. So whatever I think of. That's what you dropping. I'm gonna get it on somebody. We're gonna do a shoot and we're gonna drop it. Yeah, that's Cause that's show. cause that was my problem back in the day. We was just we would have our shop open for like two days to sell out, then we wouldn't open it back up. We didn't yeah. make as much money as we could. We well, we made racks, bro. We made a lot of money, bro. I ain't gonna even hold you. But we could have made more if we yeah. had the right guidance. Capitalized on it. We was, yeah, we was young niggas, we was like nineteen, eighteen, and we just you feel me, we just blew all the money and just did some crazy stuff yeah. with it. So now we Saying we back at it. We going to just expect a piece from Fishkill yeah. every month. That's dope. A few pieces. Yeah. And then how'd you guys meet? Oh, man. Really, Zach. Yeah, Zach. 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 Yeah, yeah, Zach was the homie, man. Yeah. That nigga like a year or two older than me, you know what I'm saying? So I knew that nigga all through school, you yeah. feel me? So me and him, we used to be on the music shit, and I didn't even know Kenny, you yeah, feel me? Yeah. And then he was like, yo, I got a whole bunch of young niggas that's going too, bro. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, you got to meet them. And then yeah. I went to Western Michigan my freshman year, you feel me? And that's where Zach was at. He was already going there. Mm-hmm. And he was like, bro, you got to get down with my team, bro. He was like, bro, you like perfect for it, nigga. Mm-hmm. He, was like, he was like, for real. And then I was just, when I got back to Lansing after that, that's when I met him, Kobe, I started meeting all the youngins, my little cell, you know yeah. what I mean? I started meeting everybody, and yeah. then they like, yo, this nigga go. Like, I was, yeah. That's when I was really on my rap yeah. shit. Yeah, Zach, Zach actually came over my crib and brought this nigga, I think. And they started, uh, they started playing some of his stuff. I was like, I'm like, this nigga hard, bro. Yeah. You know so, so tell me how you fall into place. You you rapping, you doing music, what's going on with yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, I engineer. I engineer. Do music, I be mixing and shit. Yeah. And then I, I rap, too. I'm uh, working on my first album right now. Yeah, that's dope. Me? That's dope. Um, I just started a record label. I was working at, uh, interning at Patchwork Recording Studios yeah, yeah. in Atlanta, working with some big names and shit. What's and the I, record label called? Uh, Royal Nation Records. Royal Nation Records. Yeah, Shout out yeah, there. most deaf. So, uh, so I had that going and shit. So I'm like, do I want to be a boss or do I just want to continue to be an engineer and work under somebody yeah. else, you know what I'm saying, and work with the other big names, or do I got my own, you know what I mean, or do I'm going to chase the own vision, yeah. right. and I was like, I'm going to chase the vision, you yeah, feel me, so yeah. that's why I came back, and now we on some next, yeah. some next yeah. some, we got some shit coming, real. man, 2018 going to be a motherfucker. So then, um, well, uh, next question I want to ask, I'll ask both of you guys, so like, what, what molds your sound, like, where does that come from, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, it come from... Cause really? you guys, you guys, the sound is like different from a lot of people's, you yeah. know, especially in Lansing, most definitely. Yeah, it it come from experience. Yeah, it come from real life experiences. 
You know what I'm saying? Like everything basically that I mentioned come from what I grew up on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like from the beginning till now, like they don't know like how how these niggas mixing MF Doom type stuff with the trap stuff. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, they, yeah. how are they doing that? Yeah. How you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How is they, you know what I'm saying, meshing they styles, you know what I'm saying? And all of us got different styles also. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when we all come together, it's just like a mix of flavors. Like the yeah. flavor is so, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking crazy. Nigga, it's crazy. Yeah. It worked. It worked because like we all on the same shit on a day to day basis. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah like, but we all we, different. Yeah, though. we be around each other, but we all got different crowds we fuck yeah. with too. So it's like mm-hmm. bringing together a whole bunch of bosses. You and, then, and it almost seemed like y'all set the trend too because like. Y'all can be doing some regular ass shit in a regular ass video, but mm-hmm. then somebody will see that and be like, that shit is hard. Exactly. Dude, like bro. that fucking You Don't Know Me video. That shit's simple yeah. as hell. That shit is hard, though. That <laughs> shit is hard yeah, as fuck, nigga. for real. That's when I, yeah, that's, yeah. Bro, that, that that's my favorite video, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, do you produce your shit now? Like, you produce your own shit or you, like, do half and half? You be? I do, I do a lot of half and half. You know what I'm saying? But right now, my whole next album is called The Program. You know what I'm saying? It's all produced by Flea Diamonds and Mitch Feck. Yeah, Flea you know, Diamonds. Yeah. Shout out Flea shout Diamonds. Out Flea. Hey, shout out Flea. Shout out We just Flea, shot a video. Yeah. My young 30. Shout nigga. out Flea. Yeah, he, yeah. he did my whole album, him and Mitch. They did my whole. He produced it? Yeah. I didn't know he produced. Yeah, bro, crazy. Oh, man, that's bro, crazy. Bro, crazy. Little bro, he crazy. Produ- he probably produced the track we did a video to then. The, no, he produced that Scams, no? Nah, but yeah. He no, did he the made scams? the Scams. Oh, scams. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah he, he made, made that Scams. Bro. Yeah, that's going on the album, too. It's <laughs> going to get God, remastered man. and all that, but yeah. that's going on the album for sure. And then uh, talk about some of the videos you got. Who you working with? What's going on? Uh, I'm about to start working with y'all ass. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. honey, man. Hey. But, uh... Uh, I got videos out uh Jerry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me and Jerry. Jerry P. Yeah, me and Jerry Productions worked on some. We got something else too, but that's yeah. on the shit's mode. <laughs> but uh Trey Rule. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was working with Trey. Saying I'm working with Javi. You know shout saying? out Javi. Yeah, JR. Uh, JR. Yeah. JR. Shout out JR. Yeah, shout out JR. He bro. just dropped that with uh Diamond Jones, big that facts. Shit is yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, 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 Snap Dog. Yeah, Snap Dog, yeah. Yeah, shout out, yeah, shout out Diamond and all them too. Yeah. Yeah. That shit go hard, but just expect a lot, a lot of more like crafty stuff from me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? More, more Michigan based yeah. music, and it's all about the art too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's all about yeah. the art. Right now, I'm all about the art, bro. Cause people just here do ten songs and drop it. Now yeah. I'm doing ten songs. I'm I'm gonna build a package around it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna drop off a package on them, so y'all got stuff to keep y'all occupied for months. Yeah, not for just real. the music. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna <clears> drop a DVD with it. I'm going to drop a movie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to yeah. drop, you know what I'm saying? I want to drop clothes, you know what I'm saying? Fish Gale is going to do the program merch, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. so it's going to be produced by Fish Gale, but it's going to be a program yeah. merch, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So now motherfuckers going to see this shit and be like, man, I'm about next to level. do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's they just, trying to steal game. That's just next but, level yeah, shit, man. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. happened when you said it's it. Cool because we, it's cool because it's cool because I want to inspire. Yeah. So I want talk. people to be like, you know what I'm saying? He tight. I'm gonna do that too. But just know you got to be on a different level if you want to fuck with me. For real, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you, you gotta, gotta be, you gotta be three steps ahead. Man. Facts. That's what we've always been on. You always. feel me? Ever since I linked up with the team, it's like yeah. we, we ain't just gonna do it how everybody else doing it. Hell yeah. We gonna think about it for a minute. We gonna plot it out, and then we gonna capitalize and execute. Yeah. You feel me? Facts. Bro. So how you end up being uh, Neil Rue? Is oh. it from, because y'all from the same place, sir? Yeah, he from, uh, said I'm from Bear Harbor, Michigan. So he from Bear Harbor, too. Uh, and uh, he moved to Lansing. He went to the same high school I went to, too, but I had already graduated yeah. and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? He knew my music, you know what I mean? And I knew of his videos and stuff like that. So we just end up, we just end up linking and going crazy. Yeah, you know that's what's up. Because yeah, it's what's nice. Up. And then, uh, tell me about, like, a little bit about your childhood years and stuff like that. How, how'd that go? You know, like. Uh, pretty, were you were you always creative in that sense? Like, yeah, I was. Uh, I was always. I was. I was always creative. It was just the fact that, like, uh, like my mom and my dad was always like flashy with the yeah. stuff too. Like, they all good dressers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying just like outgoing individuals. You know what I mean. So I was always up on stuff. Grew up. You know what I'm saying listening to the Biggies and the. Yeah. You feel me? But that's what my mom. My mom loved Biggie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like she was going crazy with the Biggies. But my dad from Tennessee. 
So he had me on the Devin the Dude, the Three Six Mafias. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, you feel me, like all of that, Lord yeah, Infamous, yeah, yeah. all of that. So I was, I was cultured as a, you know what I'm saying, yeah. as a as a jit, you know what I'm saying, as a young dog. I was cultured, you know what I'm saying. So, um, you know, shit, that's shit, that's, that's basically, how how, yeah, that's yeah. basically how the music, you yeah. know what I'm saying, how the music tip go. But yeah, we all started, but we didn't start off as a rap group. No. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it wasn't a rap group. Yeah, like, talk about it. Talk about yeah. it, man. Like ill nature wasn't a wasn't like a okay, we all rap, so mm. we're gonna do this. Bro, it was only one person rapping when we started it. Zach. Yeah. Zach. That's Zach it. was the only person rapping when we started. We all came together because we like, bro, we all crazy. We all dressed crazy. Two thousand six <laughs> we, you know, what I'm saying when people were still wearing the big joints with the <laughs> XXLs and the, the big South Poles, we man. was coming with the skinny, the yeah. skinny pants. Shout out, hey, <laughs> somebody shout out the North Side for the five X Polo tees. <laughs> 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 hey, and, and the uh, the cocaines on oh, the yeah, Air yeah, Forces, yeah. the always yeah. <laughs> the highs and the lows. Hell you no. know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, that's just how. That's the type of stuff we came from, bro. Yeah, we came from just being different, basically. Pure swag, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pure swag. And when people start start jerking, that's when we <laughs> stop wearing skinnies. We yeah. Like, I was like, oh, oh I can't yeah, that look at that no jerk right there. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? I could, <laughs> I yeah, couldn't stand bro. that niggas pin dropping at school and shit. I'm like, hold on. Then they brought the colorful bitches up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we ain't fucking bro, they they like Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, nigga, them bitches <laughs> bright, nigga, tie dye and shit. He said, ain't nobody finna ask me to pin drop on wearing <laughs> these bitches. I gotta change right now. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it. Let me go to the 501s. Cause Wiz, Wiz and it was hot too. So oh, I'm like, yeah. man, I'm 501 y'all now. You know what I'm saying? And then how do you feel when, um, like, because I know you got to see people kind of stealing the culture and stealing yeah, your vibe. Yeah. Like, how do you feel when you see that? Bro, I get happy, bro. You get happy? Because I know I'm doing something right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even, it's been a few, it's it's, it's, it's been a few altered cases where I done been like, nigga, you, you jockey, yeah. nigga, like, quit that. But now I look back, I done talked to my big homies and stuff like that, and they just be like, man, embrace that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they... They, you obviously doing something right. Yeah. You feel me? So that's just how I look at it. Niggas now. gonna steal your shit, man. If you, you call poppin', niggas. That's what it is, man. And it's Can't. all up, bro. That's, bro, the, the game is all, it's all comes back, bro. Yeah. Like everything is, that's old, it's coming back, new. Like, Always. It's just like recycling itself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. And then also, like, one more question. Um, so, like, where do you, where do you see yourself in, like, the next year? Like what's gonna pop for you? Oh my god! You gonna drop an album? What's going on? I'm about to drop an album probably at the end of this year, bro. Ooh, so another one coming next year then? Oh yeah, yeah. bro. I'm about to. I might do it like a little mixtape before I drop the album because yeah. I got so much stuff. Yeah. I got so many videos and so much stuff on file. You know uh, what I'm saying? That is just like, bro. I'm gonna start dropping, bro. Y'all gonna see it's soon. Ridiculous, like, right? End of the year, yeah. End of the year. It's gonna go drop. It's about it's to get lit. real. Bro. It's lit. For real. Yeah. Facts. 30. All right, so um, the next question I want to ask you is, like, how's your performance, like, on the stage? Man, it's my, crazy. Dog, my performance is be so lit, dog. <laughs> Tough. Like, dog. What's up? You got, like, 15 people up there? Bro, sometimes. Yeah. Lately, everybody ain't been able to travel with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I've been, like, before... I was what I'm saying when I was able to leave. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody wasn't able to travel with me everywhere. So I was like missing my homies, you know what I'm saying? I was still going crazy by myself though. Jumping in the crowd, I'm saying South by Southwest. Ooh. Jumping in the crowd, going dummy on stage. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm tell sorry. us tell us about uh, some of the people you've opened up for and did some shows for. Uh I just recently my last show I did, uh, I'm saying shout out Lyrical Lemonade, Cole Bennett. Lyrical just, Lemonade. Yeah, Cole I just Bennett. did that one. Uh famous Dex. Um you know what I'm saying? Uh, War horse, man. You was, do, you working, man? Man, yeah. It was a. I did. I didn't work for so many. You know what I'm saying? So and, many people. And it's so crazy though, because I feel like in in Lansing, you're just so low key too, though. Like, yeah. but deep inside, you might be in the crib, but you working on something. Yeah, like, exactly. yeah. something creative is going yeah. on in that house. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. Yeah, I, feel I feel the like, only person I feel like know it's got to drop. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. I feel like in Lansing, man, you gotta work. Yeah, ain't nothing ain't too much else to do. You, if you ain't working, you gonna get in trouble. Yeah, yeah most you know definitely. Yeah. You gonna catch, Real you gonna talk. get caught up in something. I so love, bro. I love Lansing, bro. I love. Yeah, it make you work. You feel me? But you, you gotta work, bro. If you yeah. ain't working, bro, you probably, you probably a bum, bro. And you probably in some, bu- <laughs> or you in some bullshit. Yeah, shout out to the speedway. Hey, I was just, I was just gonna say that. 
<laughs> shout out to my man's at Speedway. We not gonna say what happened, but yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out to that man. Yeah. Say, yeah, if you ain't working, you probably up at Speedway trying to fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Creeping like, around yeah. my whip like you popping tires. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 My man's probably don't even got enough Wi Fi to watch this shit, bro. He, yeah, he ain't gonna see this shit. He ain't gonna see this shit. Shout out, <laughs> hey, shout out to my man that was in line too and asked me to. Uh, he was like, "Sir, can you please step away from yeah. me?" <laughs> hey, he, he was checking out. Too. He was like typing in his pen. He said, "Can you?" Please step back. <laughs> I said, "Oh, I didn't realize I was that Martin close." Martin was yeah. about to buy nothing. That shit crazy. Hey, cause niggas be getting scammed, man. Yeah, but Scam. uh, scams. <laughs> 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 but um, who's your inspiration? Like, say top three. Just name off three. Top three inspirations. Yeah. Probably uh, Ghostface. Ooh, okay, Ghostface right. Killer. MF Doom. Ooh, I could tell that. And uh, I probably had to say, I don't know. It's either between Wayne or Gucci. Yeah, just because you know what I'm saying work ethic. Yeah, how many big tapes did Gucci have you mm-hmm. heard from? I can't even name. Bro, Gucci got I, over a hundred. I swear, it's so bro. many, bro. Bro, he oh, over hundred, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh man, I can't forget. You know what I'm saying the bass guy, little B, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my man. One hundred, one hundred, like he's crazy. He dropped a two hundred and fifty song mixtape, dog. That's crazy shit. Bro. I didn't even know that. That's Nobody's crazy. been doing that. <laughs> he dropped a two hundred and fifty <laughs> song mixtape, bro. Damn. Niggas not doing that. Nobody. Bro. Nobody. Bro, you can't even you probably can't fit that on your computer, bro. <laughs> For real. You know what I'm saying? Like and then he most videos in the rap game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got the stupidest movement behind him. It's crazy. That's where I feel like this generation coming from is like Lil B, all yeah. these little kids and stuff like that. Yeah. Lil Pump and all them coming from him. Yeah, Lil B made it. All Lil B video. made it so you could say whatever you want on yeah. the track. And bro, you yeah. could the whole song. You could yeah, yeah, hey. Hey. and then the whole song, the whole That's song. But the whole then game. it might go crazy yeah. in the whip because yeah. yeah. bro, I'll tell you, like, bro, Lil B is that nigga, dog. Like, he started the videos in the crib. Yeah, yeah, yep. videos Ooh. in the crib. 100. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, so like, what clothes do you have out right now? Like, what what clothing for fish scale? Uh. This sweater I'm wearing right now. Ooh, you gotta get the sweater. Got it's hard. The gotta get neck. the sweater. Crew neck. I just I just dropped this on Cyber Monday. Cyber you know Monday. Saying? Yeah, I'm saying it's this still the, up there right uh, now though. It's still up there right okay. now. You know what I'm saying this the uh, navy on khaki. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Then I got uh, the navy on Tennessee orange. Ooh. You know what I mean. That go crazy. Um, we still got the kick though. Button up up. For real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That boy, yeah. that boy is tough. Yeah. For real? Shout out Kobe. Hard, for real. Yeah, that shout bitch out, is hard. Yeah, shout out Kobe. He be going dumb. You got some, Uh, I swear you got a black hoodie too, didn't you, for a while? I did. I had a. Um, I think Peso had it in his. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, with yeah. the fish skeleton. Yeah. On the, on the Where's head. that at? That's coming you, back to. You got some treasure, man. Yeah, I got, some, bro, I got some hidden yeah. gems, bro. Uh, I'm about to do a pop up shop in Detroit. That's what's up. Real soon, I'm gonna have a few of my dogs perform at yeah. that gym. I'm gonna bring back all the old clothes. Yeah, we are gonna pull up too. Most definitely. Do that. Yeah, we do, that. that. Sure. do that for sure. Do that for sure. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have all the old gyms out. That's what's you know up. What I'm I might even have some Zans for y'all. Some, uh, oh, some <laughs> Zans. Yeah, 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 some Xanax hoodies. Yeah, some Xanax yeah, hoodies. yeah, some hoodies. Yep. Yeah, 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 uh, Have you dropped any? Nah, I don't even do mixtapes. You I do just singles? Do, yeah, but I dropped one mixtape with Peso, 30 for 30. 30 for 30. Yes, 30. Yeah, 30 for 30. Yep. And then um, what else, like what blogs or vlogs have you, like blogs um, have you worked with? Like, Because I, I think you were on Elevator, right? Yeah. Yeah, how, how'd that happen? <sighs> Elevator, uh, <laughs> it's a funny story. Uh, this chick that's from Kalamazoo, uh, yeah. she moved to Chicago. She popping out. She take pictures. You know what I'm saying? Her name Little Trap. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, she trapping. Yeah, she be doing her thing now. Um, but uh, she plugged me with them. She used to be like an intern for them. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And she was just like, yo, you need a video on Elevator. Holla at me. You know what I'm saying? And I be in Chicago sometimes too. So I just ended up having Trey shoot it. Shot her that video. You know what I'm saying? Through email. Was on it. Because posted that junk. That's you know that saying? jug, man, right? Yeah, that, that jug, jug, man. man. Yeah, I think, that, I think it got like 10K. Yeah, right now or something there. like that. Yeah, it's, it's almost 10k if it ain't. Was she like? Was she like? Yeah, you know, send it to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, was she trying to get with you or what's up? <laughs> what really happened? Trying to get a little bit of clout. Nah, what really the happened? Name. She was Caucasian. Nah, she <laughs> <right>. <laughs> nah, nah, she Korean, but that's my little sister, man. That's what's up. That's yeah, what's up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, shout out Angel. And then what other like what other blogs? You been with anything else? Uh, yeah. Um, so I was just on Lyrical Lemonade. 
Yeah, I just dropped. That's the, the with the show that they had, right? Yeah, yeah. with the little lemon. Mm-hmm. I don't know you seen Cole Bennett videos. Shout out Cole Bennett. Yeah, yeah. Cole Crazy. Bennett. Cole Bennett is cold. Bro, he Crazy. just, bro, he just reached a hundred, what? No, a million, a million. subscribers. Woo. Crazy. He on the YouTube. first one that started doing that little line stuff in the editing of the videos. Yeah. The first one. I don't care what nobody Facts. said. He, he the first was. One. He was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He came up with Dex, with famous Dex yeah. and all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all got to drop a video with him, too. Bro, Ooh. I got to, bro. I got to, bro. Oh. Got to. Yeah. And then what features do you usually have, like, on your like well, on your album coming up? Like, you got anybody local or it's just you? No features. No features? <laughs> no features on this album. Why not? Bro, selfish, as it they, should be. Yeah, bro, they need... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm selfish, but... I don't feel like people heard enough of me just straight rapping. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I, I dropped like a lot of short songs. So they had me like, okay. And I, I do that so people could play it back. Yeah. But this album, bro, you about to hear me snapping. Yeah. Like it's just straight snapping just all the way through every song. Back oh, to that you know shit, man. Back, I'm, I'm back snapping. Back on that shit. Are you man, setting man, it up to really? like where it's like, it's, it's you going to put them in an order so you could listen through it or it don't even matter. Like, I click on the middle and it don't even matter if I play the first one next. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a follow through or yeah, not. Yeah, it's going to be, bro, this going to be comparable to 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying. Oh, I'm going to have to bang that shit. And that's, that's a, and, shit. And, and, and that's a that's a huge leap for me to say that because that's the first album I ever listened to straight through. Oh, yeah. But this one right here, I'm making it. If I record something tomorrow... And I don't like it, it's not going on the album. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm putting everything, all the melodies is going to match, the whole format is going to match, the skits is going to match the songs and all that, bro. It's, it's, bro, it's going to be crazy, bro. It's going to be a Michigan classic. Oh, so yeah. Facts. And then, like, do you have any, like, um, like outwear? Like, are you going to have, like, a jacket or something for Fish Scale? Yeah, uh, December 6th. That's this week. <laughs> supposed to be, yeah. <laughs> he's like, hold yeah, on. Now, now he's trying to figure it out. in two days, three like, days. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, It'd be shit. like that. Yeah, <laughs> shit, I got to get on my shit. But uh, uh, we finna drop that uh, bubble coat. Woo. Fish scale bubble coat. Yeah. All black with the fish scale. Uh, I'm, sitting on the I'm on that. If you oh, live in that. Michigan and you ain't got one, you lose. You right. lose. You seen bro. that jump? That sweatsuit? Okay. Nah, I didn't. You got that a sweatsuit? Yeah, 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 that bitch, man. I got to tell y'all about that. <laughs> that, boy is, that. that boy it's gone. out still? That, nah. That boy is done. That boy is gone that quick boy as hell. Is out, bro. I had dropped a whole velour suit line, bro. Fish scale. <laughs> Fresh. Fish I'm talking about like. Full velour suits, bro. Man, you're gonna have to show me a picture later or something. I That's got crazy. You. I got you. I'm bro, talking man. about you wear that pussy points through the roof just uh, by wearing it in the crib. I'm telling you. For real. Telling you Imagine bro. we did a photo shoot with somebody's grandma in that bitch. <laughs> what <laughs> what is you on? Yo, follow hey, hold on, up, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Facts, though. Hold on. Ain't no bad idea, bro. <laughs> That's what you fucking with. Somebody, gonna, watch. In the somebody gonna steal this. Somebody gonna steal this, but watch. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do something like that. We're gonna have her with the Moet. <laughs> hey, that's hard though. That hey, is hard though. Work. Yeah, have her with the little fucking K on her. Hey, with the, the little fucking though. Draco. Yeah, yeah. I had grandma go. twerking in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> he took it too far. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it with a Draco and a grill in her mouth. I don't know. <laughs> a grill, a little silver. And dentures. then, um, so hey. like, how often do those like pieces of like clothing stay on there for till they sell out? No, just. If you miss out, you miss out. Because you know how, like... So you just one day, you might just get up and take that off. Like, it's not on there no it, more. It, it might be a week. And we just yeah. take that shit down. That's how you build more anticipation. Yeah. yeah. They be like, what are they dropping next? That's smart. Like, what's next? You know what I'm saying? If you just leave your site open all day, every day... They just like, we can get it whenever. Anybody yeah. can grab yeah. it. You know, they like, oh, it's still open. Oh, I can grab yeah, it. Yeah, plus week. supply and demand on that. Like, if everybody has some, I don't want it. And I know that's what it is for a lot of people. Exactly. So if everybody 100. can't get that, you like, oh, it's only 100. Yeah. Do, you still have, yep, right? do you still have pieces of those clothing? Like, do you keep a piece of each yeah. clothing that you drop? Yeah, 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 definitely. yeah. That's definitely. That's what's up. Definitely, you know what I'm saying, for the archives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And niggas in the gang be having shit too. Yeah, like we, yeah, bro, we be having shit <laughs> yeah, like we be having shit niggas I, ain't never seen. I get shit to my niggas that I probably won't even drop just because right. I, I yeah. made it and I might not think it's gonna go like crazy enough, or yeah. I just be like, man, this gonna come out next year. And I'm not a fashion nigga, but you might catch me or something. Facts. Be like, how the fuck he get? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. and where, yeah. where do these ideas come from? Like sure. for your clothing, like how do you think? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because a lot of your stuff is coming out the box, like a velour sweatsuit. You know what I'm saying? So how, like, where does that come from, bro? That come from old Wu Tang, Raekwon, and them niggas, For dog. Real. Like, bro, I'm really expired off Ghostface, bro. Ghostface, Raekwon, I'm saying ODB, yeah. you know what I'm saying? RZA, they, bro, they had the craziest swag, bro. Bro, the craziest swag. Raekwon bro. had the had the purple mixtape, bro. Y'all remember that? Yeah. yeah. 
Bro, bro, he had the bro. He was doing something different bro, out here. Bro, he had it. Bro, he had an album called Fish Scale. He did. Yeah, that's crazy. We dropped, bro. We dropped the Fish Scale T. I forgot about that too. Yeah. Called the Ghost Face T. Yeah, that's and dope. We had the one uh, him that was on his cover on it with like a whole bunch of shit around. I remember oh, that. That was a while. That was a while ago. Wow. Yeah. Like what year? That. What year was that? What year was that? You ain't grabbing that shirt. Yeah, you can't grab that no more, huh? You still got it? I still got it. That's what's up. Yeah, I got an orange one. <laughs> hey, once you once you open up your shop, you got to put them all everywhere, like the little pieces. Yeah, that's gonna be, be dope. Crazy. That's really? what that's that's long run. I yeah. mean, long term. That's what we thinking yeah. long term. You know, what I mean, we gonna put we gonna come out with a store in the city that we think is gonna pop the most. Yeah, and we yeah. gonna put all our archive pieces back in there, along with new, all new shit, all logo yeah. shit, logo sweaters, socks. Ooh, socks. Just plain white tees with a little fish at the bottom. Yeah. You know, like, yo, bro, we trying to be like Polo, bro. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to do Polo. I'm trying Everything. to be Polo. I, I want to be Ralph Lauren. Yeah. Fish scale do rags, <laughs> fish scale bandanas. Yeah. It's all And everything all with that. Ralph Lauren is like so simple, but he just got yeah. the one logo, so it's popping right and, now. Yeah. Bro, and it's so fire. Yeah. And it'll last forever, yeah. man. Yeah. Facts. That's what this shit about lasting forever. Yeah. yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Me and my partner, bro, Kobe, me and Kobe. We do all right. fish scale shit. Yeah. Right. So how how does the how does the clothing happen? Who makes that happen? Like, like who prints it? Yeah, who prints it? Who does? Where does that come from? Where you guys get the fabric? Like in yeah. a sense, since he uh, since he in Atlanta, yeah, he got a different distributor than what I got. Yeah, so so you guys just work hand in hand, kind of. Mm-hmm. We work hand in hand. That's he what's up. he, you know, say he came up with the kick though button yeah. ups. Yeah, I'm coming out with the sweaters. Oh, that's you know nice. Saying? Yeah, he coming out with something. So it's like next. almost like drop and drop. Exactly. Yeah. But we both making money off of everything we both yeah. do. And we ain't saying and we not selfish. Yeah. So we could just, you know, we could split the money right down the middle. Did he draw that? Like that little did he digitally draw that? That little kick though? Or you nah, did or his, somebody did? Yeah, somebody did. Somebody draw that uh drew that. Uh that shit is Damn, Cuz gonna be mad at me, but I forgot Cuz name that drew it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shout out yeah, to Cuz though. Yeah, shout out to Bro though. But he, uh, yeah, that shit fire too. Yeah, he, you know what I'm saying. It, it came from Kobe mind though, but he drew that all together and put it all together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, hey, Kobe, Kobe, uh, underrated too. That bro, nigga, bro, crazy, he the goat, bro. bro. He the goat. Like for real, he'll think of something out of nowhere, bro. For real, for real, bro. Who's, so who's Kobe? He from Lansing too? Yeah. 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 And then um, also like, where where are you guys? Where do you guys plan on going? Like, I know you guys say you coming to Detroit, but like, what's your next move out the state? Like, LA. Atlanta, LA. Oh, Atlanta or oh, LA? LA. Yeah, yeah, LA. LA. I lived in Atlanta for a while. Okay, and how'd that go? Fire. So I went on tour with Jose Guapo. That's what's oh, fire. Yeah, shout out Jose. Um, that was right when he dropped "Run It Up" too. So it was crazy. He was getting mad hoes out there. Man. Hey, that's why it was crazy. He was like, let me it's go crazy. right back. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna yeah. talk about that. We ain't gonna get him in trouble. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so why LA? Why LA? LA is the, man, that's just like the homeland. Uh, okay. I feel like that's. That's where we're supposed to end. Yeah, at. that's where we're supposed to end. That's where we always want to end. That's mm-hmm. where all the creatives meet up at the end of the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And go crazy. I want to have a house on the hills. Oh, Damn. Be you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, shout out Big Sean. That's the homie, too. He's His shout house is retarded out there. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? From what I heard. So I'm just trying to follow in the steps. You know what I'm saying? Follow yeah. the steps of, you know what I'm saying? People that did it before me. And then shout out. I got to shout out Heart and Soul. Oh, Shout yeah, out so Heart and Soul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, so we got to support. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. And do you guys feel supported in the city? The city of Lansing? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Somewhat. Here and there? I mean, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, like it's like more people know and they're yeah. not going to say nothing. Yeah. But they know it's cold. Do you feel like yeah. because it's you guys, like specifically, they don't want to support your brand yeah. out loud? I mean, yeah, I do. But I, I don't know. It's certain people like... That get a lot of love yeah. in Lansing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if you ain't grow up with a certain like yeah. certain group of people, yeah. they ain't gonna support. Yeah, like you. I'm. I'm uh, saying, like I said, I'm from Ben Harvest. So mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. if they, you know what I'm saying, if they would have grew up with me all the way from yeah. here, they'd be like, "That's my dog from yeah. elementary," and they'd yeah. be pushing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the stuff like that, but but it don't matter like that either because no. we from the L and then we grew up in L and you know there's still people that hate on you because they Man, see you doing good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's a people. fact. Yeah. Especially in the L. It's, <clears> yeah, it's especially in the It's toxic in that city, man. But I love it though. There's people mad as LSB way right now. Yeah. All right, so um, before we end this, um, I want everybody to plug in their Facebook, their Instagram, all that. So you can go ahead first. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kenny V, you know what I'm saying? Facebook, backslash Radical Mood Swing. Ooh. 
Uh, what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Instagram, can you be sold out? Twitter, can you yeah. be sold out? You know what I mean? Yeah. All that. Find me on SoundCloud, can you be sold out? That's what's up. You yeah. feel me? All that. And then go ahead. Hey, my Twitter, my nigga, double. Double. Uh, Facebook, Prince Joshua. Uh, yeah. We got Instagram, double baby. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much you, it. Right you got there. the uh, record label Instagram. Oh happening? no, we get okay, shit moving. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting on an album and everything. Just gonna come out. And then of what's the website, Kenny? Uh, Fishing for Scale. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's oh, hard. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be open. Plug that. Now. Yeah, yeah for now forever. Fishing for Scale yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then uh, go ahead, plug down. Drop the new IG. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Versatile visuals. Versatile visuals. V e r s i s a t i l e visuals. Visuals with a z. V i z. Yeah. A u l s. It's the same. Go ahead. Your personal one, too. Your personal oh, one, that's too. that's Dom Die everywhere. Dom Die everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then this Desco Martin. Uh, follow me at 11, 11 track, track Entertainment on IG. 11 Track on Twitter. And then Desco Martin on IG. And then you can look me up. My email. And all, everything's on there. So uh, thanks for having us. And then sure. this is it. Yeah, yeah. appreciate it, man. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you.